Workforce Solutions would like to welcome you to an overview of the Welfare Transition Program, otherwise known as the WTP program. Most likely, you are viewing this video because you have applied for cash assistance with the Department of Children and Families, DCF, and were sent to Workforce Solutions to register for work. Work registration is a key component of Welfare Transition Program. The primary objective of the Welfare Transition Program is to provide applicants with work-based activities and resources that lead to becoming gainfully employed and move them along the path to self-sufficiency. Cash assistance, also called Temporary Assistance to Needy Families, or TANF, is a time-limited benefit and only available for 48 months or four years in a lifetime. The Welfare Transition Program promotes the benefits of working and the importance of personal responsibility. During this work registration video, you will learn about participation requirements, rules and procedures, as well as availability of other Workforce Solutions services. Throughout the video, special graphics will display questions related to the topic covered in each section of this video. You will be given multiple choice answers to these questions. In order to successfully complete the orientation and obtain the required certificate of completion, you must successfully answer all questions correctly. However, after each question, you will be shown the correct answer. Please take special notes of these graphics and write down the answers as you will be asked these questions again at the end of this video presentation. Upon successful completion, you will be able to display and print your Certificate of Completion. Once printed, you must bring your certificate to Workforce Solutions Career Center closest to you in order to continue the work registration process. DCF has provided you with a list of locations and they are listed on our website. If you do not have access to a printer or cannot print a copy of your certificate, you can come into a Workforce Solutions Career Center with your login information, which is your name, zip code, and last four digits of your social security number, and we can assist you. We work for you, and we are here to assist you in becoming self-sufficient and employed by preparing you for your next job through career counseling, training, and other forms of assistance. Workforce Solutions' vision is to add to the economic vitality of our region. Therefore, promoting better jobs and providing quality workers that enhance the quality of life and build sustainable economies for St. Lucie, Indian River, Martin, and Okeechobee counties. We exist to assist employers with human resource solutions and job seekers with employment and training opportunities. We provide these services at no additional cost to either customer. This ultimately impacts the quality of life in our community and helps build a sustainable economy for our region. Our mission is to provide innovative solutions through the professional delivery of quality services which consistently and effectively meet workforce needs. Workforce Solutions has many locations to assist you. If you're coming to one of our locations, Workforce Solutions requires that all customers dress in business casual attire. For our male customers, this means dress slacks or khakis with a dress shirt and dress shoes or dress boots. For our female customers, this means dresses and skirts at or below the knee, dress slacks or dress suits, sweaters or blouses, and sandals, heels, boots, or flats. Please dress professionally and conduct yourself in an appropriate manner as we often have employers in our centers looking for employees. Sometimes they interview applicants right on the spot. For this reason, we want you to be dressed in business casual attire. You do not get a second chance to make a first impression. You are taking this course because you have applied or will be applying for cash assistance, also known as Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF, at the Department of Children and Families, DCF. You are watching this video to learn about the cash assistance options that are available to you and your family. These options include upfront diversion, 
a cash payment that you may receive only once in a lifetime, as well as temporary cash assistance, which is cash assistance that you receive through the Department of Children and Families. You will learn about the importance of work and what you will need to do in order to comply with the work registration process. Within this presentation, you will be given the opportunity to end your application for benefits if you feel you cannot fulfill the requirements of the work registration process and the WTP program. We will cover the following subjects in this video. The Welfare Transition Program versus Upfront Diversion, why upfront diversion, upfront diversion facts, your responsibilities as a customer. Choosing temporary assistance for needy families, also known as temporary cash assistance, benefits and responsibilities of both programs, WTP and upfront diversion. Why work is your best choice, financial assistance with childcare so you can work. Let's begin with upfront diversion. Not all customers need ongoing cash assistance payments. A one-time payment may be all that is needed to aid applicants in the emergency or to assist them in meeting an unexpected need. For those customers, an upfront diversion might be the best option. An upfront diversion payment up to $1,000 is a once-in-a-lifetime payment to assist with an emergency. For example, an emergency might occur while you are temporarily out of work and stressed due to unpaid bills. With upfront diversion, applicants will not have to complete weekly work activities as they would as a cash assistant recipient, though they may still be eligible for services such as childcare and training. It is important to note that getting upfront diversion will not affect your eligibility for food stamps or Medicaid. In order to qualify, Applicants must show a history of long-term employment and show that if the emergency or barrier they are experiencing were solved, they would be able to obtain or retain employment. You must provide us with documentation, such as an official letter from your employer or official verification of income, showing that you are currently employed or will be employed in a short period of time. Please understand that if upfront diversion is chosen, no one in your household will be able to receive cash assistance for three months or 90 days after receipt of your upfront diversion cash payment. The family will be responsible for meeting their ongoing needs during this time period. Here is an example. One client was applying for cash and she needed to go back to her job. She provided us with documentation from the job that she will be returning to work. She also provided us with documentation in the form of an official letter from her physician that she could return to work. She needed $860 to get her car out of the repair shop so that she could return to work. She also provided us with the bill for the $860 fee. She applied for upfront diversion and she got $860. She continued to receive her food stamps and Medicaid on a short-term basis and returned to her job. Remember, with upfront diversion, you can receive a one-time payment of up to $1,000 to assist with emergency needs. Do not forget, upfront diversion is available only once in a lifetime. Upfront diversion support benefits. You may be eligible to receive child care for up to 30 days after receiving upfront diversion. You may also be eligible to receive transitional benefits for up to 24 months as long as your employment is documented with both DCF and Workforce Solutions. The second option available to you is to participate in the Welfare Transition Program, WTP. The Welfare Transition Program is Florida's temporary cash assistance program where recipients work in exchange for time-limited benefits. The goal of this program is to emphasize work, self-sufficiency, and personal responsibility as well as allowing welfare recipients to move from welfare to work. Temporary assistance to needy family or TANF payments is available to customers that follow and meet the responsibilities of the program. TANF is a program that promotes job preparedness in order to move customers to work and self-sufficiency. 
TANF is the cash that you receive from the Department of Children and Families and the federal government. It was once referred to as welfare. As is stated in its name, TANF is temporary assistance. The Welfare Transition Program assists those that are receiving TANF to move from welfare to work, from welfare to self-sufficiency. It emphasizes work and personal responsibility, enabling you to move from welfare to employment. Question number one. What are the two cash assistance choices that are available through government funding in the Welfare Transition Program? A. Upfront diversion or education assistance. B. Cash assistance with your car payment. C. Cash assistance with your mortgage payment. D. Upfront diversion or temporary assistance for needy families or TANF. The answer is D. Upfront diversion or temporary assistance for needy family or TANF. Perfect. Who is eligible? To qualify for the Welfare Transition Program, your benefits are approved by DCF. You will then be referred to the program. They decide who is eligible for temporary cash assistance, food stamps, and Medicaid. Under federal and state law, there are time limits to TCA. In Florida, the maximum you may receive TANF, or temporary cash assistance, is limited to a lifetime maximum of 48 months, or four years. If you have another child while receiving TANF, the state might not increase your cash benefits. In the past, if you had another child, you could get additional assistance. That is no longer the case since Congress passed the Welfare Reform Act of 1996. Question two. What is the agency that determines if you qualify for benefits? A, United for Families. B, Early Learning Coalition. C, Department of Children and Families. D, Workforce Solutions. The correct answer is C, Department of Children and Families. You choose to proceed with your temporary cash assistance application, you must complete the work registration process, Complete three of the activities or workshops that follow. Introduction to Computers Workshop, offered in our career centers. Resume Workshop, also offered in our career centers. Financial Literacy, an online workshop offered at Allison.com. Microsoft Digital Literacy, an online workshop offered at Allison.com. There are five to choose from in this category. Money Basics, an online workshop offered at gcflearnfree.org. Job Search, an online workshop offered at gcflearnfree.org. Career Development, an online workshop offered at gcflearnfree.org. Upon completing any of the workshops or modules, you will receive a certificate of completion or attendance. If you are unable to print from home, you may print in one of our centers. Many of these modules can be done from any internet accessible computer. We have computers available for you in our centers if you do not have access to one. If you are unable to print from home, you may print in our centers. Question three. Which workshops or activities must be completed? A. Introduction to Computers, offered in Career Centers. B. Resume Workshop, offered in Career Centers. C. Money Basics at gcflearnfree.org. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. The graphic shows your responsibilities in the Welfare Transition Program and Upfront Diversion. These programs are governed by federal law. There are requirements that a customer must meet and maintain in order to receive cash payments. In the Welfare Transition Program, you will be required to participate 35 
to 40 hours per week, and a two-parent family receiving childcare must each participate for 35 hours per week in an approved work activity. This is a total of 151 hours per month for single parents and 301 hours for two-parent families receiving subsidized child care. If you receive upfront aversion, you are not required to meet participation requirements. Customers in the WTP program will work with their career planner to develop an Individual Responsibility Plan, or IRP. This plan is a map to help guide you to self-sufficiency developed by you and your career planner. You are required to comply with the steps in your plan and to stay in contact with your career planner in order to stay in good standing with the Welfare Transition Program. If you receive an upfront diversion, you will not be required to comply with an individual responsibility plan. When you are approved for temporary cash assistance and are in the program, some of the benefits of the program or upfront diversion are assistance with job placement, career counseling, employment training and workshops, job training, supportive services such as gas cards and child care if funding permits, referrals to other community agencies. If you choose upfront diversion and are approved for upfront diversion, you must begin your employment within 90 days. As long as you do, you will be eligible for these services for up to two years based upon funding availability. Another choice is ending cash assistance. This requires certain steps. If you do not qualify for upfront diversion and do not wish to commit to 35 to 40 hours of activity, you may end your application for cash assistance by coming into one of our locations and completing the End Temporary Cash Assistance Application Form, and the Department of Children and Families must be notified of your decision. Ending your application for cash assistance will not affect your eligibility for food stamps or Medicaid. Question 4. Minimum monthly requirements. A. All participants are required to participate in an activity for 35 hours per week. B. None. No participation is required. C. The number of hours depends on your TANF amount. D. You may choose any number of hours as long as you participate. The correct answer is A. All participants are required to participate in an activity for 35 hours per week. Why work? It is a matter of basic economics. You will always make more money by working, even at Florida's minimum wage, than you will on cash assistance. If you participate diligently in these programs, you will be able to find your next job faster. Also keep in mind that TANF is a temporary resource. You may only receive cash assistance for four years or 48 months in a lifetime. So you are on the clock. Try to get off cash assistance as soon as possible. Save your months. There may come a time in your and your children's lives that you might really need the cash. So try to save some of your months. Supplemental assistance may be available to you while working. Question five. What is the maximum amount of time that customers can receive cash assistance, or TANF, in the Welfare Transition Program? A, six months for up to five years. B, four years or 48 months over your entire lifetime. C, there is no limit. D, single parents, 36 months, couples, 45 months. The correct answer is B, four years or 48 months over your entire lifetime. Work pays. This graphic shows why working pays. In this example, we took a parent with two children with cash assistance and the same client that is working 30 hours for minimum wage. As you will see on cash assistance, the monthly payment will be $303 per month, while working 30 hours per week, even at minimum wage, gives the parent $870 per month. Many times, you may still be eligible for food stamps, 
as well as transitional services available through your career planner at Workforce Solutions, such as child care assistance. You may also receive Medicaid for one year after employment. Therefore, it is in your best interest to find employment quickly. Question 6. True or false? You will always make more money when you work than you will ever make on cash assistance. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. What are approved work activities in the Welfare Transition Program? Employment. Our main goal is to get you gainfully employed. Remember, you have 10 days to report your employment to DCF. You have 48 hours to notify your Workforce Solutions Career Planner. You may notify both with a letter from the employer. Vocational training, such as nursing. If you are interested in a vocational training, we encourage you to first check out public institutions. In our area, these include Indian River State College and Florida Atlantic University. Work experience and community service. Work experience offers the opportunity to gain great job knowledge and experience if you have little or no work experience. Community service often includes volunteering at nonprofit sites to fulfill your participation requirements. Job search or job readiness. This activity is designed to help you prepare for an increasingly complex job market. It may be made up of a variety of job fairs, workshops, work certified, as well as job interviews. On the job training, this is an arrangement made with an employer where you can earn while you learn. You are paid to work while you are being trained. When you go out on a job interview, you may want to mention that you are currently receiving cash assistance because employers may be eligible for special tax benefits for hiring you. GED or high school diploma. If you do not have a GED or high school diploma, we recommend that you get one. In today's job market, it is highly recommended. If you are not a teenager, you may not attend more than 12 hours per week of this activity and will have to participate in an additional activity to make up the rest of the required hours. If you are a teenager, you may be able to participate in this activity for up to 25 hours per week. Which welfare transition program activity can you be assigned to that allows you to attend job fairs, seminars, and job interviews? A. Job search and job readiness. B. Community service. C. Work experience. D. On-the-job training. The correct answer is A. Job search and job readiness. There are opportunities to be referred to special counseling if you are feeling overwhelmed. Please let your career planner know if you need a referral for special needs such as substance abuse or domestic violence. Support services are available to you as long as you are in good standing in the Welfare Transition Program and you must be participating in a work activity for a minimum of 35 hours per week. Support services include, but are not limited to, gas cards, child care, training related support services, counseling. All support services are based upon availability of funding. Question 8. What kinds of support services are available? A. Transportation. B. Training. C. Counseling. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. Welfare Transition Program Sanctions What if you fail to meet the participation requirements of the Welfare Transition Program? Customers are sanctioned or penalized by law if you fail to meet the participation requirements of the Welfare Transition Program. Be prepared to fully participate if you join the program. Failures include missing appointments, not participating fully in activities, not accepting acceptable offers of employment, not accepting referrals to outside employment, 
There are three levels of sanctions. All sanctions can affect your cash assistance and your food stamps. Level one, you could lose your cash assistance for 10 days and your food stamps for one month. Level two, you could lose your cash assistance for 30 days and your food stamps for three months. Level three, you could lose your cash assistance for 90 days and your food stamps for six months. Question nine, what is a sanction? A, a sanction is a government agency. B, a sanction is a set of rules that must be followed. C, a sanction is a set of rules that do not apply to welfare transition program. D, a sanction is a penalty that could stop your cash assistance and other benefits if you do not fully participate in the welfare transition program. The correct answer is D. A sanction is a penalty that could stop your cash assistance and other benefits if you do not fully participate in the welfare transition program. Transitional benefits. When your income becomes so high that you do not receive cash assistance or TANF anymore, you may be eligible for additional benefits for two years. These benefits include assistance with child care, which is a huge expense for many families, as well as training assistance and Medicaid for one year. Once you are employed, you may also be eligible for the Earned Income Tax Credit. These benefits are one of the biggest benefits of the Welfare Transition Program. Question 10. What services can an eligible transitional customer receive if documentation is provided to the case manager? A. Child care assistance. B. Tools. C. Uniforms. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Resource centers are services. At our career centers and mobile units, we offer many resources for your use. Available for your use are telephones, fax machines, computers with internet access, and word processing software and printers. At our centers, you have access to one-on-one -on -one career planning and a host of workshops such as Ace the Interview, Introduction to Microsoft Word, Resume Writing, to name a few. The list of available upcoming workshops can be found on our website, www.yourworkforcesolutions.com. While you are in our centers, it is imperative that you follow some simple rules. Our centers are for customers' personal use. Please, no business use of our equipment. Please respect the privacy of others. Please dress in a business casual attire no food or drinks. If you have a crisis, please dial 211. This service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Employ Florida is an internet-based tool that is available to you to search for jobs, research careers, and educational opportunities. We can assist you in our centers to complete a professional resume and help you to set up a free email account. We have placement consultants to help you increase your job search success. Question 11. How can Workforce Solutions help you? A. By providing one-on-one -on -one coaching and assistance with activities while you are receiving cash assistance to help you move to employment at no cost to you. B by helping you enroll in a work program or education program. C, by referring you to a job interview or other support agency. D, all of the above. The correct answer is D, all of the above. This video, quiz, and the completion of the workshops or online modules discussed in the video are required to complete the work registration process. Work registration is required by the Department of Children and Families to be approved for upfront diversion or temporary cash assistance. Once you have completed the video, your quiz, and required activities, bring your certificate to the Workforce Solutions location nearest you. There, you will be assigned a Welfare Transition Career Planner 
who will assist you on your journey to self-sufficiency. You will work with your career planner to develop a plan that will get you the skills necessary to become gainfully employed. It is our responsibility to track and report your progress and program compliance to the Department of Children and Families. If you do not qualify for upfront diversion and feel you are unable to complete the requirements of the Welfare Transition Program, please let our staff know and they will have you complete the appropriate form for the Department of Children and Families. We look forward to celebrating your success.